It's now time for Around Town on KWN Community TV Channel 7. The views and opinions on tonight's program are not necessarily those of the staff nor the management of KWN TV 7 and Dade County Broadcasting Incorporated. Now, let's go Around Town on KWN TV 7. We're here. <laughs> I've got Rex here with me today uh, for uh, this show around town. I've been missing you guys. I know I've been out for like three weeks. I got, you know, I got deathly sick. Well, I, uh, it wasn't deathly sick, but I couldn't talk. So that's like deathly sick. And that's bad when Marla can't talk. You know, you saw it. <laughs> yeah. It was really, really bad. And yeah. I don't, I don't know because I, I don't, I've never really had problems with allergies and Went to the doctor. They said allergies, and so we treated that for a week. Nothing got any better, so went back. They decided it was bronchitis, and then started treating that. And but she made a lot of hand signals. Sure, but, but you know, <laughs> you know, you know. Just to talk about that, you know, down here at Memorial, mm-hmm. um, used to. Well, it's still is it still called Trenton uh, Family Practice? Yeah, I think it is. You know, those people are great. I know. I, know. I, I mean, they really are. I don't know why people think they have to go to Chattanooga to the doctor. No, they because don't. Because we have some great people down there. Uh, Crystal Hancock mm-hmm. and Emily Webb, both of them. I mean, I, when I make an appointment, I just tell them, well, it doesn't matter to me, whichever one can see me, because they're both, they're both great. Yeah. I mean, they they have the nicest people down there, the nicest office staff, Um uh, it's Becky. Um, I mean, a lot of people can't make it to Chattanooga to see the doctor, but they can't. They can go there and get the same well, result. Well, I think a lot of people. I don't know. It's in their mind that they need to go to Chattanooga, but I mean, you just get such good care mm-hmm. here. Oh, I've been down um, there. I, I Becky been Case there. is in the uh, is in the office there, mm-hmm. and I think I think now Tiffany uh, Tiffany Henniger, I think she may be the office manager or. I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know, but they're just great people. And Jackie down there, man, if she sticks, you should get you one the first time. Yeah, well, my kids go; they go down there just for like colds and things like that, and other things. I go down there for everything, everything. Rex. <laughs> yeah. Everything. I go down there for everything. Yeah. I don't have time to spend a whole day to go to the doctor. No. I mean, you know, I say I don't have time. I guess I'd make time if I had to, but we just don't have to. That's true. I, I that mean, is true. I really, really like those people down there um you know dr wexler was there for years and that's who i went to and i loved her oh yeah and then she went to dalton and i almost started going to dalton because i loved her so much well but, she talked to me about what was affecting me and then we'd spend 30 minutes talking politics <laughs> she yeah was, she liked to talk politics maybe oh, yeah. but but she was a great doctor she was she was a great she, doctor yeah i used her for the whole time she was up here yeah you know and, i'd go uh, to her and then Dr. Shy, you know, I just put flooring in his house. Uh, he was there for a long time. I think they really messed over when they closed that dam. They owed her a lot of money, and she never did get her money that they yeah. owed her. Uh, Dr. Wexler. <laughs> well, Rex, just just air their dirty laundry out here. Well, I'm telling you what, they should have paid the woman. She <laughs> didn't know anything about that yeah but hey i'm sure it has nothing to do with no this no it had nothing to do with this it was the no the it other was, bunch that's right, right. exactly yeah. oh yeah yeah okay i should have said that beforehand but yeah rex now listen if you're gonna get on here and no, throw no, somebody under the bus no. you make sure they know who it is no okay? i agree i agreed with her that she they did mess over and that's when she went to dalton you know oh okay. is it yeah well, well i didn't know that i think she still lives here in the county somewhere or did i don't think she moved I don't really know. I think she lives over in... uh, She used to live in Lake Hills. Yeah, I think she still lives over there. Well, she... But yeah, I always went to her, you know. So it's... I like her because she was a... Which these girls are, too. They're very conservative. Oh, yeah. I don't like somebody that just grabs that prescription but just wants to give me all these more things. More pills. More pills. Yeah, because I, I, I pride myself in saying that I don't take medications. Probably need yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to hold that as long as I can. Yeah, uh, you gonna want? I'm gonna hold out as oh, long as I oh, can. Oh yeah, Lord yeah. Yeah, That's I don't, it. I don't want to, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just don't want to start taking a bunch of stuff. No. But anyway, okay. We had the festival of life this past weekend. And the weather finally turned out really nice. It did. I went. Um, I, I probably was there about thirty minutes. It was. Um, they had some really neat stuff. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, uh, Ted Rumley was up there singing. 
Oh, he's yeah. pretty good singer. He, he is good singer. I thought hey, it was. Really? Listen, I thought it was a tape. No. When I first got there and was walking around, <laughs> I, I did, and I thought, well, who have they got singing up there? Oh I, yeah, he I is. Really a good, he's got a good voice. I mean, no, I thought, who? Would, what, what's playing? And then I ran into uh, Sandy Payne and Andrew Whited. And I said, what are y'all doing? They said, well, we just come over here to listen to Ted. I said, oh, when's he singing? They said, he's up there now. <laughs> well, you know, in the egg drop, they said it went, went over, too, good with a helicopter. Well, my daughter went to that, and she yeah, said the kids. everybody was there. You know, I Oh, there's a huge crowd there. I, I didn't even hear about the egg drop. Well, I think they announced it at school, and then uh, Tritton Ministries was the one that put it on. You know, and Sealy, my boss... Uh, we I had to swap with him because he had me working Sunday, and he said I'll work for you on Sunday if you will work for me on Saturday because he wanted to go to that. And uh, oh, so, he was looking. So they dropped him out of a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. I did not. And know. Amy, like Amy, uh, my daughter graduated, uh, filmed it, and then she deleted it. I was going to send it, send it to Sealy, my boss, let him send it to Montgomery. <laughs> she deleted. She deleted. It. I could just kill her. <laughs> well, why did she film it? She was over there at uh, McDonald's or somewhere, and she saw that helicopter. Oh. And so she, she I had told her about it. So uh -huh. she started filming it. And then deleted it. And then deleted it. And I was going to send it to Sealy, wherever they could send it down to Montgomery, you know, show, show what Sealy was doing in the community. Well, we're glad the Festival of Life went over well. Mm -hmm. we're glad that it turned out good. Glad you have any idea how much money they made? or? No, I don't know. I mean, they always make good money on it. I don't Do you know, know who they were helping this year? Or? Um, Mike Avery. Yeah, he needs it. He um, needs it. Mike. Marchetta may know who else. Mike Frady. Yeah. And there was one more. Isaac. Somebody. Yeah. I know Avery needs it because he's, he's had a lot of, I don't think he had insurance or something. He's having a he's lot of He's had a problem. lot of trouble with his heart. He does. He really does. Uh, but well, I'm, I'm glad, sure, I'm I'm glad, sure I'm glad it quit it. raining, you know. Sure I just knew it was going to pour down all day long, but um, but it didn't. Okay, what else did we want to tell you about? I guess everybody's seen the lights going up on the interstate. Mm -hmm. um, they should be working towards the end of June is what they're telling me. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to add to the, the exit. Are you kidding? It's going what do you mean you think it's going to add? It's going to light, <laughs> that guy told me, he said, it, it's going to light up. We're going to light this place up like it Atlanta, will. Georgia. I think they're supposed to be really powerful They're light. huge. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, and they're uh, they're putting so many under the uh, interstate as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. And, hey, that's been something that's um, been on the project list. It's been going on forever. Since I've been on there. And, I mean, we have pushed and pushed. and Everybody will believe it when they actually get on. Well, now, let me tell you something. They're over there digging the holes, setting the post. It's yeah. going to be there. I saw that. It's going to be there. Uh, they're uh, really tall, too. Those lights are yes, really... Yes, and they're LED. Yeah. Uh, they're real bright. Yeah, that's going to be great. It is. It is because, you know, when you're driving, I know when I'm driving, you know, and it's late in the evening... You know, or even at night, mm -hmm. I won't get off an exit if it's not lit up. Oh no! It's, well, and you're gonna be able to see that for a good ways yeah. coming and going. You know, and you want you want people to get off at this exit mm -hmm. because you want them to spend well, their money. They'll feel safer if they do. Yeah, and you want them of, to spend yeah. their money. You want them yeah. to get off here to spend their money. That's right. That's... To buy gas, those coats. Yeah. You know, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and then not only that, we want it to be safe for our citizens. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I wanted to update you on lights on the interstate. We have we have one of our regulars, Miss Marshanna Sharp, coming on oh, today. Yeah. She's going to talk about things going on at the library. We have such a wonderful library. Well, she she's here listening to us, but she does a super job. Her and those girls do a super yes, job over there. Yes, she and does. They 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 really do. And I go in there just sometimes to kill she time. She <laughs> is the best money spent mm -hmm. or some of the best money spent oh, around yeah. here yeah we definitely get more than we pay for i can't tell you how we did it but i was part of getting them uh some money and they keep a just item by item what they spend that, what they're spending that money on and a lot of stuff like those speakers outside where they can have movies mm -hmm. and different kind of stuff like that that they're buying it it's really going to be helpful to people in the uh community and you'll be amazed at how many people use that library 
especially in the summertime. It is amazing. I know she's going to tell you some stuff about what's going it to happen in July, but it, it's it's going to be really nice. I like to I like to go in there and and, and Don Street and Gail. Joey Odom. Joey Odom in there. You'd Linda be amazed Wilson. at what they're doing in that historical room, uh, oh, organizing really? stuff and putting it on microfilm. Or it's not I mean, can you feeling. imagine how much work we get for free out it of those is. retired it, teachers? It really is. It, and I took a lot of my stuff up there, and they've got it all on film. And she did a thing where we're, I think Dexter went in there and uh, talk, they had a film thing of it. And talked about the history. Talked about the history. And people in Dade County. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he did. But the, We it, saw it. He talked about us. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and we hope he's safe where he's at, so... We hadn't heard anything bad, have we, about Dexter? So no, no, he's in not Japan. Yet. Is he? In, oh, if he made Japan? No, he, no, he's not. Thailand. Ja- he's in Thailand, and he'll be in Japan in two more weeks. Yeah, I think. yeah, he'll be safe there for sure. He's safe where he's at. I, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Hey, Dexter's Dexter. He's Dex. That's right. That's right. That's right. Just tell him we was talking about him today. It's like all over a, the county. Like uh, Troy Double told me about uh, when he was going to Covenant College, he said, because I was like, are y'all going to teach them? What are y'all teaching them up there? All he wants to do is volunteer. That's all he wants to do is volunteer. Mm-hmm. And he's like, at Covenant College, we teach <laughs> kids to follow their heart. Yeah. And Christ is in their heart. So they follow Christ, not the almighty dollar. That's right. I mean, how do you argue with that? No, you can't. There's no comeback for that. No, you just get your checkbook out and write another write check. check. Write another check. <laughs> <laughs> and say, thank you, Lord. I'm glad I've got it to That's you. That's right. But Keep him safe. Anyway, um, one thing I do want to show you guys is decoration time. Mm-hmm. And we are in the Bible Belt right here in the middle of it, and around here you go around and our cemeteries are beautiful Mm -hmm. Uh, people still decorate their loved ones graves Mm -hmm. they still keep them up which is something to be proud of and you know i have the flooring store and then right next to it is my mother and she makes these flowers she's been doing it now for six years and let me i'm gonna show them okay it gives her something to do now i'm going to show you this this is uh, one of the vases, uh, cones. You just stick it down in the vase at the cemetery. This is $15. Mm-hmm. That is unheard of. That's right. They're $30 everywhere else. Yeah. I, I priced them because I well, took mine back <laughs> and bought one from her. Um, they really are. They really are. I mean, for this same size. And I, and I, you know, and, and I know she takes pride in them. I'm not saying the other people don't. But like at Bilo, or not Bilo, uh, Food City, I mean, I can say this. They have them there. They're $32.99 for this size vase. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they're even as pretty sometimes. I mean, some of them are, but, you know. But $32, more than double the price. i tell you the one I like. She she does one. It's on a brick. I didn't bring the brick because I I didn't want to scratch my car. Yeah, but but those bricks are really nice. And you just set it down in front of the tombstone or whatever, and they they. they won't there. blow away. They don't blow away. But I, I've had one on mine for, it stayed there for two years, and I finally took it off and got got something else. Now but, you cheap skates, time by another. <laughs> yeah. But, but the anyway, thing is, I wish you'd have brought one of them. Anyway, $15 for a vase. Okay, and then she has the saddles. Yeah. Now, <laughs> look at this. The saddles are $25. Well, this one's twenty-eight because it's all roses. Yeah. Um, the roses cost a little bit more. I mean, the flowers do. So it's twenty-eight. But most of the saddles are twenty-five. If they're not roses, they're just twenty-five. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's 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 cheap. Yeah. Cheap and nice. It, it is. It's cheap. very nice. And and then she has larger ones. If you want to do something, you know, extra big. She has the deluxe, but uh, but that's that's mostly what she sells. Mm-hmm. And people comes in there, and I mean, they just load them cars up, and it's mm-hmm. you know not much of anything. Oh, yeah. So so you go by there; it's uh, next to my store. She's got a mountain in street. front of her right. where she's at. I mean, stop a nice and, stop and uh, look. You'll if you're looking to buy flowers, decoration flowers, and you've looked around, you'll buy from her, no doubt. Yeah. 
no doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, what we're going to do now, Rex, we're going to take a quick break because I've done run my mouth long enough. That's true. And you've done thrown a couple people under the bus. <laughs> So, we're going to take a quick break, and we're going to come back with our first guest, and it's going to be Trey Gray. Um, he's a, a, a little young guy that I've known since he was a little bitty fella, mm -hmm. and he has his own business here, and uh, and we're going to bring him on here and try to promote him and and. Help and him I went to school business. with his granny, but I'm not going to tell any bad stories about what we did in school, so she he's going to be safe. You're talking about Mary? Yeah. <laughs> I can imagine. Uh, it's all true, then. Whatever you imagine is probably true. It's probably true. <laughs> but we're going to bring him on here, and we'll tell who his mom and daddy is and who his grandma and his mm -hmm. aunts. And you'll uh, and let me tell you, if you don't know him or his mom and daddy or his grandparents, you just had not lived here long is all I can say. Mm -hmm. But we'll be right back. Megabit Internet Residential Service is now available to customers of the North Alabama Electric Co-op with NAEC Fiber in Jackson and Marshall County. Residential gig service is now available for only $79.95. Call today to have your gig service installed at 256-437-5000. High-speed fiber residential gig internet service now available to customers of the North Alabama Electric Co-op with NAEC Fiber. Business and commercial customers can get gig service too. Call for pricing 256-437-5000. Gig service from North Alabama Electric Co-op 256-437-5000. Have lunch or dinner at Guthrie's, home of the original golden fried chicken finger and the best chicken finger sauce in the world. Guthrie's can help you plan your family's meals or get-togethers with bucket specials every Tuesday, those delicious wings on Wednesday, and platters every day of the week. Plus, get sweet tea by the gallon. Remember, Guthrie's has a party room for small gatherings, too. Guthrie's, Highway 136 West in Trenton, home of those golden fried chicken fingers and the best chicken finger sauce in the world. Guthrie's, not fast food, good food fast. The Moore family name has built a legacy of trust, compassion, and peace of mind by standing with families during time of loss. Now in our 70th year, the Moore family commitment grows even stronger, from affordable traditional services to cremation. Our experienced staff stands ready to follow through on you and your family's wishes. Since 1945, the Moore family of funeral homes, North Sand Mountain and Trenton, always dedicated to those we serve. Delivering top quality primary health care locally. We are Northeast Alabama Health Services. With seven locations, there's one near you. Scottsboro, Section, North Sand Mountain and Higdon, Skyline, Woodville, Fife and Fort Payne. We accept Medicare, Medicaid, and of course your private insurance. If you're unemployed, low income, or have a high copay or deductible, you may also qualify for a reduced rate office visit as low as $16. Ask about our free medication program. And ladies, you may qualify for a free or reduced rate mammogram. Dental referrals for our patients with tooth removal and filling for only $15. Putting your health concerns first, we're Northeast Alabama Health Services. Cervical cancer screenings now available at Northeast Alabama Health Services. Limon's Mexican Restaurant in Henniger, Alabama at 50 Lloyd Pride Drive, where you can enjoy karaoke on Thursday nights at 6 and lunch specials every day. Catering's available and how about delivery? Yep, with a minimum of five orders, Limon's can deliver to you. Happy hours Monday through Friday from 2 to 5 and come enjoy their newly constructed bar. Limon's Mexican Restaurant with two locations in Henniger and in Crossville. Call 256-657-3999. Limon's Mexican Restaurant. We are here. This is Mr. Trey Gray. Um, Trey uh, was born and raised here. Uh, his mom and dad is, um, tell us. Kent and Cheryl Gray. Which a lot of you may know her. She worked down here at the uh, Trenton Family Practice for a long time. Mm -hmm. Kent has, didn't he, where did he work at now? Bull Moose? Bull Moose. Bull, Bull Moose. Moose. And then he did it. Yeah, he was, a, he was an agent at Farm Bureau Farm for Trenton. years. And then he uh, did his own business. KG Cutting and Land, or KG Cutting and uh, just KG Cutting. Yeah. My grandpa. Yeah. With my grandpa. Well, now tell us who your grandparents are. Uh, Ken Kenneth Gray and Mary Gray. Now listen, if y'all don't know <laughs> Mary, well, Kenneth too. Yeah. But Mary, Mary, uh, it was Mary, Shelby, and Joanne. Mm -hmm. uh, Gray. What my. my Clark. 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 Yeah. yeah, they were called the Clark sisters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, 
I love them women. I love them women. They're known to be straightforward and blunt. Oh, oh yeah. Especially Mary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rex says he went to school with Mary. That's right. Well, come on, throw Mary under the bus. You've been you've been doing that all day. Throw no, Mary. Under well, the bus. I, no, I tell you what, we all protected each other. Oh, Every yeah. what we did, we didn't tell nobody. It didn't go any further. Now, Rex, you just wrote a book about it. Right there it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure Mary's going to recognize some of the stuff that's in there. So. Oh, but her name's not attached to it. No, well, I didn't call them names. Well, yeah, I did some, but not, not but, a whole but lot. But that anyway. was your family, wasn't it? The yeah. names you called was your family. Right? Yeah, most, most of them, anyway. Yeah, Mary was a hoot. She was a hoot in school. She still is. I know it. I know it. I know it. But but anyway, we're here to talk about Trey. That's so, right. Exactly. So we know we know it comes from a long, a good long line. Mm-hmm. He's 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 bred good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so Trey, you have your own business now, which I'm proud of you, hon. Thank you so much. And uh, so just tell us a little bit about it. All right. So I started landscaping in Scottsboro, and my boss Arnold Landscaping. But Lake Arnold, we mowed Maples Industries. It's like Shaw. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. they do rugs, don't they? They do rugs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, they got four plants over there. So I ran the mowing side of the business while he took over the landscaping side. And when I'd get the mowing done and the residential yards as well, we would go and do the landscaping. And I'd get to learn a little bit about landscaping. So after I came back over to come back to my family and come back home, after living in a camper for eight months. Um, wow, you know, I bet that built some character, didn't <laughs> Right on the river, yeah. It was real nice. It was a good experience. I took care and watched over the campground. They just wanted me to keep eye on everything. How so, nice. Yeah, it was, it was a real neat experience. And, um, you know, I learned everything over there and got a passion for it. And I just wanted to bring that back over here to Trenton and see what I could make of it and try to get this town looking good well i mean it already looks great but yeah now let me tell you something since i've been the street commissioner i've been working hard to clean this town i see that Mm -hmm. pressure washing i like that i I, had a guy up here pressure washing mm -hmm. i've seen him listen them sidewalks you had about this much space you could walk on without stepping on the grass that had overgrown Mm -hmm. that's good anyway Anyway, hey hey that's let me tell you we have a good crew. Mm-hmm. And the supposed- city the city is working good right now. We have a great mayor. Yeah. And we have we have a oh, yeah. we have a when good that team. When that streetscape is supposed to be starting pretty soon, then yes, it? it's it is. gonna change Trenton. You're gonna see a really? lot of change downtown Trenton. That's good. It's really gonna look good when that's, they get it finished. That's what but, we need. So a little Trey, bit of inconvenience too, but that's it'll be worth it. Okay. It'll be worth it. So so Trey, um so uh you're looking you're you're wanting to expand your business a little bit i am so you're looking for landscaping landscaping jobs yards uh, to mow yards to mow i got a pressure washer i do pressure washing um i like to i, I like to do landscape and a lot of people won't do it they just mow but i like to actually do the landscaping part mm-hmm. of it not just the mowing part i love and, the landscaping yes mm-hmm. and curb appeal you know just little things can really set off a house and detail and it really can yeah i agree and that's i cook as well so to me oh i know you can cook <laughs> yeah what's Anybody? your specialty uh, chicken piccata <laughs> yes <All right. laughs> from canyon grill when i worked up there oh yeah, yeah it was, okay it's real neat and i still work with a guy from canyon grill at, at lookout mountain pizza company three days a week oh really so i do okay. that on the side through the winter and stuff to get me by and then in the summertime, I really take on and try to start mowing yards and build my business. Well, your hand is a doorknob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. And listen, he is a good kid. I know he's honest. He's hardworking. He comes from a, a family of a bunch of hard workers. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Well, you do. I know, but you thank do. you for that. And and now listen, they they've worked hard to build their good mm. name. Now you take care of it. I will. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I, I have some friends. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell who they are because a lot of people knows them. But he told me one day he said, you know, he said we've all worked hard building a good name, and he said and these grandkids is just destroyed. destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Her, the, his great grandmother. You remember those little? They were Claire. Uh, about Claire? Yeah, yeah, they were like chickens, and they were as a candy dish. But they were chicken roosters and all. Yeah, yeah. She had collected hundreds of those things, and then when she, she passed away. 
where they had a yard sale and they put all those seeds and they went like hot cakes. Yeah. I mean, you don't they don't have they're those anymore. Collectible. They don't have those anymore. But they're, I remember that. They're roosters, aren't they? They're roosters. They had all kinds of chickens yeah. and whatever, yeah. you know. You take the chicken at the top of it and yeah. there's candies in there. Yeah. Yeah. You probably she's probably still got some yeah. of them. I'm sure they didn't sell them all. I ain't already talking about it. Yeah, exactly. And then cleaning all the houses out. Uh that brick house right beside Raphael's. Exactly. And I've seen some stuff here and there with oh, I know yeah. what you're talking she about. She had a lot of collectibles. She oh yeah. They there. still got she's got a room full of them. <laughs> Oh I know, yeah. <laughs> so I know what you're talking Mary about. Mary collects stuff too, don't she? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she took that after her mama. Mm-hmm. She took that after her mama. Yeah. Well, so what what we want you to do now, right now, everybody's wanting to clean up outside. If you've got some landscaping, if you've got some yard mowing, if you've got some pressure washing, give Trey give Trey an opportunity here. He's been uh, you've been in business for yourself for two years. Two years now. So it's not like he's a fly by night. Mm-hmm. He's 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 gonna work at it. I oh, mean, yeah. he oh he ain't gonna be a fly by night. I mean, his his mom and dad and grandma won't let him do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so give him the opportunity to come over, and I guess will you go out and do estimates? Uh, free estimates. I come out wherever around from Rising Fun to uh, Sand Mountain to Lookout Mountain down to Wildwood. You know, I mean, all around this area, free estimates, and sometimes I can come out there. Like, um, I got a call the other day from a guy right right back here uh, behind Thatcher's, and I got over there within 30 minutes, you know, so I try to get there as quick as I can before somebody else wants to hop in line, you know. <laughs> and beat him, 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 you know, I take pride in my stuff, so... That's cute. <laughs> For somebody. Else. Well, it's true, you know. I mean, yeah, it is. <laughs> and be there when you tell them you will be because they'll hey, call somebody. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Bird gets the you got, you got the right idea. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, you That's got the right idea. Yes, sir. So, okay, so Trey, how would they get a hold of you? All right. I've got a um, phone number. It's 423 mm-hmm. 50. I'm going to write it down here. All right. 423 508. Mm-hmm. Four two, eight two, and then I also have my social media and stuff. But well, now you can tell us about that. But if people are like me, that I still like. We want to know what you're talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, I, I like phone numbers too. <laughs> I, I mean, like the old fashioned, call me up, come see me. Yeah, you know. That's, but but you know what, Rex, we're the minority. That's, tr- that's exactly right. I'm realizing more and more. I'm just glad turning. I got grandkids that I can call our daughters that I can come over here and fix this. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. It's a shame my little six and seven year old on my know. phone. That's scary too. I needed then. a light. We would, I forget where we were at. <laughs> and I needed a light. And I was looking through. I said, I know I had a flashlight. And Lincoln's like, Mots, you got one on your phone. Give me your phone. I <laughs> They embarrass you. Good kids can embarrass you, you know. Yeah. They don't know. call you stupid. They just show you that you're stupid. They don't right. have to download that stuff. And, hey, and when Dex was little, he was two years old. And I thought it was, I thought he was just a genius because he could, <laughs> he could put a, a VHS tape in the VCR. Yeah. And, and, it, and I was like, he knows how to work that VCR. Mm. It was, you know, why? That what, That ain't nothing. Mm. They're downloading and uh my little grandkids is uh, got their mama's credit cards charging stuff, and they have to hide their security codes and all that <laughs> stuff because. For real. <laughs> yeah. And they're not afraid of computers or anything. No. Phones, cell phones. They're not afraid of them. No. They just go ahead and do whatever they need to no. Whatever they need to do. It's a fight with them. Mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah, it's so far above your head. Yeah. Where it is mine. Yeah, I mean, he's getting above my head. We're trying to run this stuff, you know. Just yeah. But yeah. but anyway, back to social media. In case there is people out there, and there probably is. What is the social media deal? It, it's called KG Cutting and Landscape, and you'll find me on uh, Facebook and Instagram if you want to. I have a business page, or also Trey Gray, and my full name's Kenneth Wayne Gray the Third. That's why I call it KG Cutting. And um, basically, that was your sweet daddy was the first, your daddy yeah. was the second, and you're the third. I'm the third, so that's yeah. why they call me Trey. And did you know his dad, his granddaddy? Oh, yeah, Kenneth. Yeah, he had a sweet granddaddy, he did. Yeah, he did. Real sweet. 
Um, okay, so KG. KG cutting and landscaping. Okay. And that's that's the social media part, but some people are getting confused with the cutting, so I'm trying to just bring it down to KG's landscape and lawn care and keep it short and simple and, you know, just get the point across what I'm there to do. and. Get the point across now, Rex. I know. And you yeah. got to get to our quick so nobody That's, right. That's, right. <laughs> That's a good slogan. Get there quick. So nobody will hop <laughs> Okay. It just comes out. I know. That's yeah. cute. Okay. It's 423-508-4282. I hope that all kinds of people call you. I appreciate that. I do because, you know, I see on Facebook, I, you know, I do get on Facebook and I see on there where people's looking for people to need somebody to cut mm. my yard or need this or yeah. need that. And um, so... There's plenty out there. I mean, we got, uh, you know, Chad Davis. He does Definitely. landscaping, and he's wonderful. But, uh, you know, there's so much mm-hmm. out there. Not, oh, yeah. not one person can do it all. Yeah. That's why I'm not trying to compete or trying to no. fight over jobs and stuff. There's there's so much out there for everybody. But if you, you know? call him, he's yeah, well, going to get there before anybody hops yeah. in front of him. Well, Chad, he stays busy, though, all the time. He just... <laughs> He can't get reliable help either, so that, I know he's had that problem before. So, Chad Davis started, you know, like me. He even. sure – do you – listen to this. Do you remember – I mean, no, you you probably don't remember it, but <laughs> we brought Chad Davis on here just like we did you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We sure did. And yeah. look at him now. You know, yeah. I mean, he's big time. And, you know, this is the thing. Chad does good work, and he's got a good name. Mm-hmm. You know, he – he people when he works for people they feel good about what he does they feel good about what he charges oh, yeah. mm-hmm. so so that's the way you build a good business mm-hmm. exactly. you do what you say you'll do you do it when you say you'll do it and for what you say you'll do it for mm-hmm. i put my i put my name on my you know the yard and stuff i do it's got to look good and i've got to be impressed with it and make sure they're impressed with it too you know and you've got your own equipment definitely Got it parked right out here, actually. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> get on a yard. Okay, after so this. again, uh, Trey Gray four two three five zero eight four two eight two. Hey, and I hope you just get swamped. Thank you. I might have to hire me somebody and maybe two yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, know. two people. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I've got a couple of help. I people wanting to trustworthy people I can call on. Need so. a good weed eater. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I can run that three thousand dollar mower of mine. That's right. They can run three hundred dollar weed eater of mine. So. And then, well you gotta pay for that so you need a lot of business in it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break and we will be right back. We want to thank Trey for coming and I want to encourage you again. If you got a yard that needs mowing, if you got some pressure washing that needs doing, got some landscaping, give him a call. Let him come out and give you an estimate. And uh, I'm sure you'll be pleased. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Be right back. Come hungry and leave satisfied at Cloud's Pizza Highway 71 in Higdon. Cloud's Pizza uses only the freshest ingredients, and we hand toss our own pizza dough. Our pizzas are made from scratch when you order, so they're always fresh. And don't forget about our famous Sand Mountain Cheese Sticks. You can eat from the Daily Buffet or try a mouth-watering hamburger or cheeseburger. Come see your friends at Cloud's Pizza Highway 71 in Higdon and never leave hungry. Call ahead at 597-3100 for Cloud's Pizza. Visit us on Facebook at Cloud's Pizza and more. Come see us at Cloud's Pizza. From sunrise to sunset, Mountain View Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Ringgold works hard to always give our customers our best. Like $15,000 in total savings on the 2019 Ram 1500 or the Jeep Renegade for just $14,888, all during the spring sales event. So come shop your number one Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram dealer in the Tennessee Valley. Mountain View Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, number one for a reason. Innovation and quality. Two things you don't normally hear about in a recruitment ad, but you'll hear a lot about innovation and quality when you join the team at Vanguard National Trailer. Vanguard is an industry leader in the production of dry van trailers and composite plate trailers. And right now, Vanguard National Trailer is hiring energetic and hardworking team members to be assemblers and welders, as well as industrial maintenance for first shift openings. And you'll work a full 40-hour week in four days, which means three-day weekends. And overtime is available. Working at Vanguard National 
National Trailer has other great benefits too, like paid holidays, paid vacation, medical, dental, vision, and life insurance, plus a 401k plan. Full-time work, three-day weekends, available overtime, and great benefits. That's Vanguard National Trailer. Fill out your application today. Vanguard National Trailer is an equal opportunity employer. Applying person today. Starting pay 10 to $14 an hour, depending on position. Vanguard National Trailer Corporation. Highway 11 North. Turn beside the Premier Health Care Center on Vanguard Drive. When you or a loved one is facing a life-limiting illness, hospice care may be the answer. At Tapestry Hospice, the patient is the focus of our care. We are here to serve you and facilitate your wishes. Tapestry caregivers are concerned with managing your pain, keeping you in touch with your physician, and helping you make plans for the future. Hospice is life-affirming, and Tapestry Hospice can help you deal with all aspects of life, mind, body, and soul. Call Tapestry Hospice for more information, 706-383-8812. That's 706-383-8812. Tapestry Hospice. Redefining hope. And Marshanna, you need a full time show. Just tell them what all you've got going on at the library. We don't. We don't really have that much going on uh, this month. I mean, this coming month. But um, we we have been pretty busy. Um, but well, tell um, us what's going on. Well, we just had the health fair uh, alongside with the uh, uh, festival of life and. Um, we i counted see we had i think it was like um i I gotta remember what the door counter said i think we had 1700 people that walked through the library i'm sure all of them didn't participate in the health fair so we'll probably just go into the restroom but um but they still we we still had quite a few the restroom's um, still a service yeah Mm. we still had quite a few um people that did did participate in the health fair um and we had several booths set up with freebies and stuff and um so it really went well um we have our next thing will be um the glow run coming up um, and that's and a big thing it is and i think martha's going to be here <clears throat> next m- monday to tell you more about that martha baker and she's got a surprise she has a group coming um so um and we're real excited about it this year so um i'll leave her to get to tell you about that you know i went to that by mistake last year yeah because because her grandchildren chose to come and visit us at the and she just didn't know why and then so she showed up i remember that they had a ball they were supposed to be going with her and they they decided to come to the glow run they ditched me they ditched her and she's like well why did they ditch me and then she showed up and found out why right, yeah. yeah i was gonna go question them well they did but then she ended up having you ended up having a lot of fun you and I Nathan did. both yeah we did but they had those little what do you call them glow glow, glow bracelets yeah, they yeah. had them all over them oh yeah and they gave out the best t-shirts mm-hmm. now i'm telling you every now and then somebody will have a real comfortable t-shirt mm-hmm. i love that t-shirt mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i wear it all the time yeah I wear it all the time. She had, she'll have the numbers, but we we had way more rester pre rester this year than we did last year. I'm sure you did. So, um, um, but she'll be giving all the details on that. And 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 tell me, what what what's the meaning behind the glow run? I'm sure it's something great. I just don't know what it is. It is. It's um, uh, April is Child Abuse Awareness Month, and you'll see the little pinwheels out around. Um, and so um, the glow run is to bring awareness to child abuse. Mm. And uh, we'll have some statistics on, um, you know, the child abuse in in general in Georgia and then in Dade County. And I stuff bet Lisa like that. Stevens is all over this. Isn't there, there's a whole bunch of people involved in I it. I bet she is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's she's there. She'll be there. Uh, there's a lot of people involved in it. Another thing they do too is they host a lot of meetings at the, you know in their meeting room. The library. Know, what, it, what, the family yeah. connection. Day family connections. They have a meeting every. Um, month the fourth Thursday, Thursday yeah. at twelve thirty. I mean, I represent our church on that, and there's usually about twenty people that shows up. 20 Sometimes or we've had up to twenty six agencies. I know. I get the email and. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you want to know what's going on, you come to that because it's all over. It's Katusa, Walker, Dade, um, even Hamilton County. We have people from Chattanooga. To two, I mean, uh, there's they a have lot. different speakers, we and they had a, they had a thing over there about and, the guy that's an expert on uh, doctors during the Civil War. And now that was a historical society. Right, we did and that. The, they were uh, it was packed, mm-hmm. and that guy spoke for an hour and a half, and it was amazing all the stuff that he had 
involved in that with Chattanooga and all that stuff. You know, it was it, it was amazing. We would love to have mm-hmm. him back. I so enjoyed it. Uh, we're going to do uh, the Historical Society is going to do one on caves. It's coming up in um, September, and then in May uh, the Historical now, Society. Now, what do you mean he's going? They're going to do one on like caves, local caves. Yeah, local, yeah, local caves. caves. We're going to have yeah. kind of a round table about caves and. Um, some local um, cavers are going to come and talk about um, because in this area we probably have the most caves in Mm -hmm. Georgia. Hey, down at the preserve, Mm -hmm. do you have people from that coming? Uh, The the people we have coming, they pretty much know about every cave in Day County. Well, Mm -hmm. then they know about those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot that people don't, a lot of caves that don't Oh, listen, those people... They're about them caves, like them tree huggers oh, yeah. are about trees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's going to be really know, interested. I'm excited all, about it. They want to save the bats, all yeah. that. Oh yeah, <laughs> they do. They do. I'm telling you, they uh, can have all those they want. I don't like. I, I mean, went to a meeting after we bought those cabins down there at the preserve, mm-hmm. and. <clears throat> Of course, we'd have a lot more bugs for one for the bats. Gonna be, I thought the meeting was going to be about like how we're going to come together and maybe maybe finish this clubhouse that got started mm. or you know do this and add this no not hardly <laughs> you had a bunch over here a bunch of i mean and i'm not it's not bad i mean it's great that people are that passionate about it i mean i'm, I'm passionate about animals yeah but i mean i had heard of these people i just never knew any of them mm. so passionate they didn't about saving the trees they yeah. didn't want nothing built yeah, and, they, right. and in fact, they wanted what was built to leave, down yeah. so more trees could be planted. Leave, leave nature. And then you had this group over here, the cavers, and they wanted to preserve the caves to save the bats. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting there, and I, I told Nathan, I said, I've heard of people like this. I just never have known them. You know, back in the 60s in Casey. We, case, we, we thought they was going to be wanting, you know, to make donations to build this or to build that. No, they won't tear down. Yeah, <laughs> what's built? Ca- Casey's I, cave I, I over here you. was. Um, oh, I, you know, they got real. some kids got lost in there, and some. Uh, this is back in the '60s. Anyway, I opened up the Washington, D.C. paper, and there was Dade County on the. Uh, about the cave. About the cave, but they uh, they came from Georgia Tech and, uh, uh, you know, f- figured out uh, mapped it. They mapped it out so if people got lost, they could. Look at that cave and find out which, you know, where they could go wow. and all that stuff. That's you back in the I'm 60s. I'm scared of caves. Oh, I am too. And you remember when those little kids was, got, those little boys got. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, cave? that was Obama Howard. Where Dex was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was a gasoline where De- explosion. When Dex, it was, yeah. It, it was in uh, Sing- Singapore, wasn't it? In Singapore? Gillies were one of them. It was an hour from where he was at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm telling you talking about having somebody's nerves not that i oh I yeah you're talking about in thailand yeah oh, that was awful. i wasn't afraid for dex you know but i was just i wasn't afraid he was gonna go in a cave i was just scared for those kids, <laughs> those kids. it was amazing it how they got them out up so bad i sat glued mm-hmm. to that tv and when that one diver when he died i just cried mm-hmm. i mean it just tore it was, i just it was, i was so afraid those kids weren't gonna make it out it was fascinating it was really fascinating and then we was getting ready to go over there out. you know we went just maybe three or four days after they were rescued. Mm-hmm. But, honey, I was geared up. I was going to go over there and okay. feed somebody or something. I mean, Help I them get them go, out. Now, I wasn't going to go in the cave, but yeah. I thought, well, I could make somebody a sandwich that was going in the cave or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they got them all out. Yeah, they so. did. Well, something I'm interested in is the book signing thing that you're yes. in July. Uh, yes, we need to talk about that. Um, so, our summer reading is fixing to start, and this year we'll have programs for adults, teens, and uh, the young children. May the 20th is the sign up for summer reading. So, that's why May's kind of a little slow. We're getting geared up for summer reading. May, um, May the 20th is the first day to start signing up uh, for summer reading. And uh, like I said, there'll be prizes for the adults. Uh, we've got something really exciting coming up this year. Um, hey, wait a minute. You're going to do prizes for the adults this year, too? Yes, we are. Um, we are um, going to have an app that they can go on and register their books and stuff so that they don't have to handwrite. Because y'all talk about social media and stuff. Well, you know, everybody's going to I'm their out. phone. <laughs> <laughs> we still have paper. We still have paper. I said we, we, we have to have paper, uh, so we still do paper. Uh, but we will have the app available, and they can log and earn badges and things like that. So we're excited about that. 
Um, and But during that, on the 20th is the last day. Sign up is over on the 20th. What I wanted to do is I wanted to have a celebration of all the local authors. So if anybody out there That's has wonderful. wrote a book, we're going to have a reception. We're going to have all the authors come in. You can bring your book and sell it that day. Or if someone has their book already and they want them to sign it. I just haven't gotten a hold of everybody yet. So if I don't get a hold of you or I miss you and I don't know that you have a book, now please that, let that me is, know. What date is that? It's going to be July the 20th. July the 20th. And okay. it will be like from 11 to 2. I haven't pinpointed the, the time Is that on yet. Saturday? Is it's it on Saturday? It's on a Saturday. Saturday yeah. Hey, you already said you would come, oh, so yeah, you can't I'm be right. changing dates. No, 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 I'm not. <laughs> hey, hey, let's go. Rex will be there. <laughs> and let's give his book a little plug here because let me tell you, I've read, I hadn't read the whole thing, but I've read quite a bit of it. I it's think a, y'all have one in the library. We do. Right? We have book, one you can check out in the library. This book mm-hmm. is hilarious. It's called As I Recall, Memories from a Lifetime in Dade County by Rex Blevins. Mm-hmm. And so if you suspect, if you've read it and you suspect that person in there may be you, that would be a good day to come and ask him. Say, is that me? Is yeah. that who you're, are you talking about me? Yeah. Dex bought me one for Christmas. Well, he's, uh, he's going to be there. Um, some of the other ones haven't confirmed yet, but I hope to get a hold of everybody. And I don't want to miss anybody. So if you've wrote a book and you would like to come, please contact me yeah. at the library and let me know. Yeah. Dex took one to uh, China, and also Chris Muster's mom and dad are missionaries in France, and they took one of that with, with home them. Did you translate it, it for them? No. No. <laughs> no in Mos- and it's in Mozambique. Uh, the the Tsami Tsami or whatever it is just hit over so, there, and Charles uh, Woodboro, Woodboro is a doctor over there, and he bought one of my books and took it back with him. So it's in Mozambique, <clears throat> now Africa. Kent Woodrow is that the doctor? Is that him? That's his son. That's his son. Yeah, I noticed these people on here that gave you reviews. Yeah. Why didn't you get somebody from Trenton? Well, or you somebody know from Dade County to give you. <laughs> they volunteered to do that, and then they they contact the guy that helped me edit the, the book. And gave the, he they, because he, he let them read it before he let us read it. That's that was yeah yeah. As a matter of fact, they read they did read they it got before. to read it before he published. They got it. to read it before he's published. Okay. See, a he went. He was being stingy with it. Wouldn't let none of us read it. <laughs> yeah. As I laughed my way through, as I recall, I was transported back to Rex's living room, listening to his tales, lounging in his rocking chair, and eagerly anticipating and smelling a wonderful home-cooked meal of cornbread, pork, and beans. Always cooked in generous amounts of lard, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and Chris, well, Chris and he both, live, they live with, he lived with me for 14 months because they couldn't afford the, to see him yeah. stay on campus. So they, he, they, Charles asked me, could he live there with me? So, And Chris gave him the okay to come in and live. I said, well, yeah, let, me I think, let me think about Let me think about that. <laughs> I remember Next thing, that. Here comes... Uh, Ken up the steps, you know. I said, "Well, you must be going to stay with." Me. He said, "Well, Chris told me I could." Yeah, I remember coming in. He comes and posts, gives us updates on stuff, and I remember coming in and saying, "I have a housemate," and Chris didn't even ask me. He just listen to this. This book is a heartwarming glimpse into Rex's soul, and through him into the richness and depth of the Dade County community. This book will stir your heart for these incredible people and this delightful man, Chris Muster. No wonder he got to review it. Who yeah. could write something I had like to pay that? him $20 for that, that review, though. Chris don't do it. I, let yeah. me say something else about <laughs> what, the historical room where they're longer than this stuff. Joey Odom, uh, Gail. 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 Yeah. And, and it's just a great place to go in there and watch what they're doing for free. It's amazing what they're doing for we, free. In there. They find, um, they find, we find stuff every day. I can't go in there or I won't get any work done. Uh, okay, so we go in there and we start going through these pictures and all this history. And they're logging, they're volunteering. They're, they're volunteers, of course. They don't get paid, so they come in there and they spend hours and hours in there. And they are logging. And Donna, Donna Street helps them. And they're logging all this stuff, and they've got it in books in there. And we have mm. pictures, tons of old pictures. We don't know who they are. No one knows, not even Donna. And if Donna don't know who they mm. are, then, but they're amazing. Just going yeah. through all those old pictures. You know, and, if you were to put those on social media somewhere, somebody yeah, might we thought about somewhere. we yeah. thought about starting to maybe once a month, uh, once a week, putting one. Do you know who this is and all that? We're trying to get them all organized right now. But there's a lot of them. We do have names. They're yeah. naming them as they go, and 
Um, but they've got them all neatly in books, and you can come and look at well, them. Well, I want to go to that book signing. That's great. Yeah. Now, I guess, yeah. you, let's see, you have Bobby Bradford. Yeah, I've, I've not confirmed with him yet. I've, I've, ta- I've talked to his mother, and I'm trying to get a hold of him to talk to him. And then you have the Jay Jones. Jay mm-hmm. Jones, and I've got to talk to you. So I've, I've still got to get a hold of. And um, Do you remember, oh, um, oh, my goodness, what was her name? Up on Lookout Mountain. Um little short lady drove the little red Volkswagen with the little pug dog. Katie. Katie Cook. Katie, Katie, Katie Cook. Cook. Katie Cook. Remember her little Miss book? Miss Katie. Yeah. <laughs> her little yes. political book. Yes. <laughs> I, I loved Miss Katie. Yeah. Well, there's Nancy Lynch. Yeah, Nancy Lynch. Nancy Lynch. Um, you remember uh, Dave Con- uh, Connors that used to work for us at the library? You know, he's written two books. And the one oh, that's yeah. coming out, I, uh, Harper and Collins, t- is, it's... Big publisher. Well, I and talked it comes to him. Out at the end I of talked the, to him what to do, and he gave me a lot of pointers on how to get this. Story. Let me yeah, tell you a quick story. I was in there in the the room, and somebody called from Charlotte, North Carolina, and Linda Hawkett. Linda. Mm-hmm. Linda does a lot of work in Linda there too. She <laughs> said, "Let me let you talk to." Her. Well, come to find out, the lady that she was talking about and my mother were first cousins. Just, I mean, just an accident I was in there. So I just mailed her a whole packet of stuff, you know, about her family. Yeah, I hadn't heard from her yet, so a whole yeah, packet of mail. it's me. We'll get a call, and I'll go, wait a minute, so-and-so's here, and, and they can tell you about that, but we get history calls all the time. Yeah. That's great. Well, that's where you go to find your ancestors. Oh, it's, it's, yeah, Tuesdays usually, right after 10, they're there. Yeah. And... You know, it, the room's full, and all these people come in there, and we find they get to tell stories and tales. And you yeah. yeah, I sat in there, and we just we talked for an hour, and I go in there just. If Rex running. doesn't come by to see us. We're afraid something's happening. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> I go in there just if for. Rex don't come by to see me. I'm afraid something's happening. Oh yeah, I go by there. I have my routes. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, have. we haven't seen Rex today. Hey, but we just have a, a few more minutes. I want to tell this. Uh, I want to mention this. Uh, Learn Sign Language. Uh, it's an annual community sign language class, Monday through Friday. It starts today, and it goes through this week, April the 15th through the 19th. It's from 6.30 to 9 o'clock tonight. The class is free. It's for adults mm-hmm. and children. The space is limited. Mm-hmm. So register, or, or you need to register. Um, now, there is materials, $5 per student. Um, learn Sign Language. Um over here at Silent Word Ministries is where it's at, located uh, just east of Dade County High School. You can register by phone or email. The phone number is 706-657-8000. And that will be, um, I guess, uh, Mr. Ted Kemp is mm-hmm. probably is. in mm-hmm. charge of that. Mm-hmm. He is a wonderful fellow. Mm-hmm. He now, is. he's another one. If he don't stop by in a while, I wonder about him. Yeah, mm-hmm. He writes all these little funnies and brings them to me mm-hmm. he's a good artist too yeah. he's, he's just a great he's just a great guy he's, he's a super just a great guy. guy he's so been doing that for years in sign mm-hmm. language yeah we had that class tonight at 6 30 and that that book that material is a really nice book i mean mm-hmm. it's well worth the five dollars yeah mm-hmm. well you know he told me once they do this to try to um because they have so many deaf people mm-hmm. we do. associated we with their ministry. Mm-hmm. And and the more that people can learn, the more that they're accepted, the more that they're... Uh, Thank you, Mick. That yeah. would make a great end of, uh, international language. If everybody had sign language, you'd go to any country and right. talk to If they'd teach that in the schools or something like Rex, that. Rex, that is smart. It is, oh, it is. I mean, they it could be really taught. Would be. You don't have to know dialects or anything. You always, yes. Everybody yeah. would have the same yes. thing. Yes, that's smart. It is. It would be. Are you sure they don't do that? They may. I don't I don't think they do, though. Really. I mean, it, you can always find... I mean, it's so smart, I can't believe you're the one that come up with it. Surely... <laughs> surely, 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 that, that's, surely that's... Surely that's... You know, just like the power thing. Yeah. Of yeah. all people... That Rex, that's what Senator Malone said. Hey, now, I didn't say that. (laughs) (laughs) He's trying to throw you under the bus. I had to drag her into the argument. I had to drag her into the argument. Don't you start with my buddy Let me get out of the argument here. Yeah, you bruise easily, yeah. don't you? Yeah, yeah I just he, don't. He starts on Jeff Mullis, you're going to be in the line of fire. I know. I, I I don't. That man is so good to this county. I, I, I know. Don't. And I, Do you we know? we, we always speak. We're always cordial to each other. And Rex, let me tell you something. 
Yeah, listen to this now. No, I am telling you this. People <laughs> around here have no idea. Any and everything that happens around here, he's normally got his hand in it behind oh, I know. the scenes. I know. You know, like these lights up here on the interstate. The city has been pushing, pushing, pushing. Oh, I know. For years. You, not months, but years. Yes. But we get Jeff involved, and then it seems like it happens. Mm -hmm. The light over here at the middle school. Mm -hmm. Get Jeff involved, it happens. Yeah. Vanguard down here. I, I, I mean, it just people just... And it, and it just infuriates me when I see something somebody's wrote about. What's he done for Dade County? <laughs> Any and I hadn't said that. Any and everything has been done around here. He's got his hands in it. Yeah. I mean, it just just amazes me. Mm -hmm. So I, so I go talk to that politics. group. All you have to do is go talk to that group that was, you know, associated mm -hmm. with that, and his name will come up. Yeah. He hey he's wonderful. You know, Marshanna, he's wonderful to this county. He's good to that library yeah. too. Done a lot for that library. Lot for library. But do go by the library yeah. and just see what all they're doing over there. And she'll be glad to give you a tour Rex, of all that. Give him a shout out. He needs all a right. pat on the back. <laughs> Don't he, Rex? Oh, Jeff and I have always been cordial to each other. But isn't he a good senator? We have senator. our disagreements, but we've always but been cordial. He's a good senator. He's Rex. a good senator. There you go. <laughs> hey, and Rex wouldn't lie for nothing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, listen. We've had a good show today, and uh, I enjoy Rex coming on with me. Well, let me tell you, Anita, uh, is it Anita Cash? Annette Cash. Annette Annette Cash. Cash. She is looking for more people to come down there to the senior building. They do a great job in those buses. Well, let me yeah. tell you. You want me to just tell you something? I'll throw somebody under the bus. I think I know. Well, I'm just going to tell you, and I don't know them, but I've heard it and heard it and heard it. There's somebody down there real hateful to people. I know. I heard I've, that. I heard that just the other day well, in, front been, of the, in front of the library. I've been guy hearing told it. Me that. I've been hearing it for a long <laughs> yeah. time from several people. Yeah. I've known people that's went down there that's passed away. I know people that's worked there, uh, and I don't even know who the person is. But uh, they might get some. They might mm -hmm. get some more participation yeah. if they'd control that person separate. that's being the, hateful to the everybody. The bus uh, and, and where the, the older people And I'll go. probably get all kinds of phone calls. And speaking well, about complaints. The bus is separate, had, but they do do a good thing on that bus. Well, listen, I do have track. a complaint to address. Somebody called in and said, I I said something about people sitting at home drawing a check, not doing anything, and getting a check, and I had a problem with that. <laughs> <laughs> now, listen. If you're drawing Social Security, yeah. I have no problem. Listen, those people worked and paid that in, you know? Oh, yeah. And I, I must have, I don't know if I said it wrong or what, but what I have a problem with, I have a problem with people on disability that are not disabled, that's cheating the system. Mm -hmm. I have a problem with people getting these welfare checks that shouldn't be getting welfare checks that are just as well-bodied and able to go work as I am. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the people I have problems with. Yeah. But, like, our veterans, why, they don't get enough. Mm -hmm. Our seniors, they don't get enough. I mean, people that are on Social Security, yeah. they don't get enough. i tell you one thing. Our church, it's amazing how many people that really do need help. I mean, really, in fact, I mean, we investigate them before we help them to make sure that they do and not taking it. Well, if we had, if a lot of these people that are cheating mm -hmm. the system, if they would, uh, you know, uh, grow a conscience yeah. and quit cheating the system, we could do more for these people and plus they'd that be deserve happier. it. They'd be happier. That deserve it, yeah. you know? Yeah. And so, one other quick thing. So I hear the phone ring and somebody's already mad at well, me. Well, let me tell you about, are, we still, that, are we still that's, on? That's who I had a problem We're fixing with. to go on, but I was going to talk about Hunter uh, food well, store over here. Well, we'll get you next week. We'll all get right. you next week. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for showing up today. <laughs> Thanks, Marshanna, and especially Rex for coming on helping me out. You've been watching Around Town on KWN Community TV Channel 7. The views and opinions on tonight's program are not necessarily those of staff nor the management of KWN Community TV Channel 7 and Dade County Broadcasting Incorporated. Join us every week for another edition of Around Town on KWN TV 7.